Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum with an outstanding theme, attainment of justice, peace, and prosperity in the pluralism or the revitalization of the civilization, a challenging perspective. First of all, let me thank organizers for your kind invitation. It is really my pleasure to present a paper in this esteemed Lucid Symposium. Today, I would like to present a paper entitled The Concept of Knowledge, Revitalization of the Civilization, The Relevance of Sayyid Approach of Integration. Like my topic signifies, Sayyid never seen the knowledge alone anymore, but also he has embarked on a vision of re-invigorating, instilling an Islamic vision with an enlightened civilization. If we scrutinize the history, from the history we can see that the biographies of academicians, scholars, intellectuals all over the world, it's easy for us to, to categorize them, to sort out them based on the legacies they have left behind. For example, there are some scholars who have devoted, of course, their entire life for the purpose of writing the texts, creating the books, and at the end of the day, they become excellent professors, excellent writers, excellent authors. Generations after generations benefited their contributions. At the same time, you can see that there are some other scholars who have dedicated their life for the purpose of creating, nurturing, nourishing a bunch of good disciples. They later on strive towards spreading this message throughout the world. And very, very interestingly, there are some other group of scholars who have combined between the academia and activism. I mean, they have the legacy of disciples, they have the legacy of the written contributions. Very fortunately and interestingly, Sayyid Musi was one of them. I mean, when he passed away, he left behind us, he contributed for the world to these two legacies. As a written legacy, the legacy of the Sayyid a written contribution, an excellent commentary of Holy Quran, generations after generations, countries after countries are benefiting from this. And the second legacy is a legacy of disciples, legacy of students. Saint Lucy, when he passed away, he gave people a legacy of disciples who now are the You can see, not here to needless to say, neither to needless to elaborate about the legacy of Kulabu they are creating. For example, this one friend symbolism itself is a remarkable contribution of that students. So what is the significant feature of these two legacies? We can see it is easy for us that both legacies are vibrant, both legacies are dynamic, both keep, move, keep moving forward and furthermore they are trying to achieve the excellence and the, for the creation of civilization in the pluralism and enlightenment. Uh, size and uh, volume. For example, if you see in this civilization, uh, unity cannot occur through ignorance. Unity is the fusion of ideas, and the fusion of ideas occurs through the electric size of knowledge. You see, he's trying to complement between knowledge, ideas, and unity. Through knowledge, we achieve ideas. Through ideas, we realize we fulfill the idea of unity. A united country is a civilized country. 
not by just saying, but at least united country, united nation, united unity is very important. If we proceed a further, we can see that how much Sahih was concerned about the social upheavals. And he identified the reasons and resolutions of the social upheaval. Moreover, he found the problem, real, real problem, the essence of the problem, the core problem lies the problem of attitude, the problem of character, the pro problem of behavior. He said that very interestingly, he summarized all the problems to two phrases. He says, so long as I am full, what is it for me at this day of hunger? I should be comfortable, I should be perfect, I should be peace and peace. I never mind whatever others. Secondly, you struggle and level so that I can live in ease and comfort. You have to level, you have to try the struggles. I can sit here easily. This situation and attitude and character behavior is the real social upcoming problems through this way. And we also recommend for the eradication of the two problems to apply the non-injection of arms giving and prohibition of usury. We proceed later, we can see the next slide. Say Lucy identified the five principles of the attainment of paradise nation of advancement and civilization. He's, he's recommending, he's injecting us, he's uh, teaching us, he's uh, elaborating us how we can achieve a paradise civilization. His idea is very, very important, significant, relevant for this contemporary situation. Firstly, we told them, Union of hearts. Can you move further? Yeah. The union of the hearts. What is it we have in the engineer? What are the problems? United we stand, divided we fall. It's very important. A message. Union of hearts. If there is union of hearts, we can achieve a paradise civilization. Secondly, the nation. Hubbul Matan in Iman. When Prophet was migrating from Makkah to Medina, at the extreme end of Makkah, he was praying. He was telling, "O oh, Makkah, I love you, Makkah. This is the country where we have born, where we have brought up, where we have raised up." It's of course not the agenda of national nationalism. Nationalism is extremely different, totally different from what we call it, love of nation and rebel button. Of course, the third one is education. Education. No need to needless to say that education is the bedrock of the uh, developments and the foundation of every, every enhancement. And the human endeavor, we have to try. If you, if you try, if you have a way, we will be a way. The duty of ours is efforts and result lays upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fifth one is avoiding of dissipation. We should be upright for personalities. Okay, if we proceed later, the next slide, we can see the diamond source, the, the enemies of nation. You see, acknowledge the three major enemies of the nation that are the destroying the nation and its civilization as the poverty, the ignorance, and the endearment of flesh. Poverty should be eradicated. Ignorance should be eliminated. And internal conflict should be removed and we have to replace nation unity, human endeavor, and the level of the nation. Okay, we proceed. The six death sicknesses. He presides the organizer. The significant factors which arrested the mankind from moving forward in terms of material development and social life. He called those factors as the dead sicknesses. We have been affected by the dead, very detrimental, very, very detestable sicknesses throughout our day. Jerry, this material world. The first is price of this life. People are desperate. People are disappointed. People are disgusted. People are worried. So we need some kind of good leaders who can offer them a hope of tomorrow. A hope for tomorrow. We need that visionary leaders. This hope, this sickness is, has arrested mankind from moving forward. This is the biggest trouble and biggest problem and challenge. We have to meet by two the reasons and the resolutions identified by Sayyid Musi. The second is death of truthfulness. Truth already about it have spread around the world. People are deceiving. Even our 
We cannot believe in our brothers and sisters. We are desperate. Truthfulness, battle has spread already. And the third level of enmity, rivalry, enmity, and yes. This is because another problem. And not knowing the Lord's words that by the believers to one another. You see, we, we don't know about the faith, the family. We don't know about the religious cooperation. Religious cooperation for symbiotic existence and mutual dependence. We lost everything. We think religion is for for why? For traveling, for creating the problems. Actually, what is the purpose of religion? It is to establish a human humanity, a universal phenomenon of the truthfulness. Truthfulness will be established by who? The Khalifa, the people. We are the Khalifa. We are the Khalifa. We are the Khalifa. We have the duty of vicegerency of the last one. At the same time, we have the duty. We never create the human kind of jinn. Jinn people, jinn. Nothing. We create it for nothing. Other than worshipping in worshipness and vice of Of course, the spot is of which is like various contagious disease and restricting the endeavors to what is person, personally beneficial. People don't know about the concept of the view, we. People know, I, I, I may profit for me, benefit of the personal benefits, material gains. Here, we proceed, we concern about the hell. We don't know about the hereafter. We became believers, and then believers became saved. And we distinguish between us only by name. It's another biggest problem. Okay, I'm proceeding. I'm fully aware of the tape, sorry. Next eight obstacles, okay? He finds out some other eight obstacles which create the eclipse of the illuminated civilization and spread of Islam. Islam is not a religion of just worshipping things. Islam never teaches you how to pray, how to just take and observe the zakat. Islam is a life plan. But the Western people, they are very intelligent. An intensive campaign, they have created Islam as a personal domain. It's only for a person. There is nothing to do, there is no use of religion and Islam in terms of creating a, a peaceful and tranquil world. Of course, I'm proceeding. The eight obstacles are firstly, Europe's ignorance. Secondly, the religion at that time. And thirdly, the bigotry in the religion and falling domination of clergy and the fifth one and the black invitation of the people and number six the spot is about the leaders number seven the morality of the opposition parties and, uh, and number eight negative influences of the saints each one needs separate separate elaboration i skip because of the tape i order the chairman's instruction In the, the next if we proceed we can see the truth is concerned for public security it, it is one that makes this I lose distinguished from all other uh, leaders. He was really concerned. He gave the prime concern for the, uh, the maintenance of public security. He clearly cautioned his readers to avoid any sort of action or behavior that would lead to social discord, discrimination among the people or anything affecting public order and security. You see many, many leaders and the revolutionary leaders, we are we already acquainted with them, we have read them, we have familiar with them, but we, in the in the, in the terms of public security, uh, sorry to say, sometimes we fail to keep it up. But Said will see amazingly, very, very astonishingly, he he gave, he uh, kept this identity throughout his, his life. Okay, proceed. Nurse's concept of the positive action is a very interesting area of Sir Lucy. He was, uh, he was uh, every day promoting and performing, and, uh, uh, and uh, he was uh, recommending his four people and readers to keep uh, the positive action. What is positive? Is a positive uh, is a belief. Cause of belief is positive, and work for unbelief and morality is negative. 
Patience and thanks are positive, whereas impatience and rebellion are negative. This is another area we need a separate analytical and elaborate study. I skip because of the time. And, um, okay, I will. I have three minutes, inshallah. I will stop within two minutes, inshallah. Extravagance as a common problem is very important. Last but not least in my presentation, extravagance as a common opponent. More than anything he worried about the Western lives are based upon the extravagance and wastefulness which should be culmination in the lastness and desire of the ease and destruction of the entire and sense of service. According to Nurzi, the pleasure of human life lies in the frugality and the social service by which the common health of our rich and poor to be established. In we are wasting everywhere we can see in terms of food, in terms of time, in terms of material, in terms of everything. We are we are proud to be waste to people. Both about us and the things, the steps which are been using. Wasting, wasting, extravagance. You will see has threatened the world. The extravagance is makes the problems throughout the history. Once you need to revitalization of the civilization, you have to focus with the people, with the civilization, with the culture, with the idea, with the principles and ideas, prospects and concepts based upon the reality that uh, created and has been taught by Holy Quran. I conclude the need of uh, related to the revitalization of an ideal civilization is the one of the frequent cries of the world for many, many centuries. At this juncture, the ideas and prospects developed by Nursi may have high kind of attention. Nursi brought holistic change in the mindsets, of the mindsets and life conditions of the society without the capacity of a drop of blood of innocent when he fought against enemies of the nation in the time of in the time front for the foreign countries when they transgress when they violate the rules and regulations we need some days of course we don't need more and more words Allah Sabah Jazakumullah Khairul Jazila wa Akhirawana Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Salaam Alaikum Allah Hibbara Salaam Alaikum